Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about non-flowering plants. There are two types of non-flowering plants, spore-bearing plants or cryptogams and seed-producing or gymnosperms. The spore-bearing plants are ferns and mosses. The seed-producing plants are conifers, ginkgo, and cycads. Okay, let's talk about spore-bearing plants. Spore-bearing plants reproduce by releasing large numbers of tiny spores. Spores are tiny organisms that contain single cells. It is too uh, tiny and light that they can be dispersed by wind or water to assorted locations and grow themselves there. Examples of spore-bearing plants mosses and ferns let's talk about mosses these are soft and spongy it can only grow in a few inches tall they prefer to grow in bundles and cushions they utilize the spores to reproduce mosses attach themselves to rocks in the soil with thin roots like growth this thin root like growth is called rhizoid mosses do not have a true vascular system and unable to draw water and nutrients up from the ground over a distance that is the reason why they are unable to grow very large they play an important role in regulating ecosystems because they provide a vital shield system for plants that live close by and benefit from the water and nutrients that mosses collect. They are crucial for soil stabilization and water retention, helping in the prevention of floods and landslides. Let's talk about ferns. Ferns produce pores that look like brown color spots. They are dust-like in nature, when spores mature, they explode and substances are released that further come in contact with soil and reproduction initiates. Ferns have true vascular systems. Ferns help fight soil erosion. Their complex roots systems help maintain soil stability. Did you know that the Azola fern is used as a natural fertilizer for rice crops? And did you know that ferns are also used for treating bowel disorders, coughs, and lung problems? Now we're going to talk about seed-producing plants. Gymnosperms are also called naked seeds because they're Seeds are open to the air without any covering and are kind of naked. They have no flower or fruit. These are the examples of seed-producing plants or gymnosperms. Conifers. Conifers include some male cones that have pollen and some female cones that contain the ova. The pollen from the male cones is transferred to the female cones by the movement of wind and insects once the pollen enters the female cones seed begins to form the second example of seed producing plants are cycads cycads are ancient seed bearing plants that appeared before the age of dinosaurs during the permian period almost 280 million years ago and here is an example of cycads cycads can live in extreme environmental conditions with very low nutrients including sand dunes slopes cliffs and even on rocks the third example of seed producing plants is ginkgo one of the oldest living tree species in the world. It first appeared over 290 million years ago. Wow. It produces naked seeds on branches. Here are the examples. Here are some fun facts about non-flowering plants. The leaves of the ferns are called fronds. 
The largest non-flowering plant is redwoods. And here's an example of it. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. Please, bye!